Hi, my name is Bill Vozin, also known as Bill V. Today I'll tell you about the five different things that I did to prepare for the AWS Machine Learning Certification Exam. As a bit of a background, I have a little over five years of time series forecasting experience and about 10 years of statistical experience. So the first thing that I did was go through the coursework on a Cloud Guru. Um, right now, you can take two courses on a Cloud Guru. They have the old Linux Academy coursework. In about August of 2020, Linux Academy merged with a Cloud Guru. Um, they were acquired. Uh, so you get to take the Cloud Guru training and the Linux Academy training. I recommend taking both. Um, you can also go back through this training and watch it at higher speeds, which uh, was really excellent. The second thing that I did was I took the exams at the end of each section of a Cloud Guru's training. There's usually about 10 to 15 questions at the end of each section. Find out your weak areas and go back and rewatch the videos of those weak, in those weak areas. I also used uh, Medium and Towards Data Science um, as documentation. Um, to, to, to help improve those weak areas as well and became stronger in those areas and did well on the test eventually. The third thing that I recommend doing is going to the AWS documentation, um, the official documentation for SageMaker and reading through each of the built-in algorithms for SageMaker. Uh, get a feel for what each algorithm does, uh, how it can be used in the real world, um, how hyperparameters can be used to improve modeling uh, for each of the different types of um, algorithms and uh, inputs and outputs and file types. And the fourth thing that I did was get a feel for SageMaker in AWS. I had an AWS console account already um, so I could go in there and play around. I enjoyed that. Uh, also, I use the labs that are available on the Cloud Guru. Uh, they used to be on Linux Academy and they imported them into a Cloud Guru. You can uh, launch a temporary instance with these labs, temporary AWS console instance, and they last about 90 minutes to two hours or so and they'll turn themselves off. And during this time um, that they're on, they, you can step through a lab and uh, get, get a feel of how SageMaker works or some of, some of the other uh, services available through um, um, this uh, AWS console uh, that are related to the machine learning cert. Um, the fifth thing that I did was go to the AWS machine learning cert site. They have a PDF with about 10 questions. Uh, take those questions very seriously. I would recommend taking them before studying for the test to get a feel for what you're going to be tested on and when when you think you're done studying and ready for the exam uh, take these 10 questions again and take them very very seriously um, they're aws's questions i felt they were more reflective of the exam than any of the other questions i could find on the internet or cloud guru questions again the links are below uh, if you have any other suggestions on things you did to help you pass the exam, feel free to post in the comments below. Thank you.